You might remember a while back I bought these cool microphones from Finland and I did a video about it. Today I'm gonna do another video. Yeah, so I am Ulf at Hoberik. Uh, today we're gonna do some recordings again. More specifically, I did a recording a while back uh, where I found a more specific use for the periscope microphone. I have tried to use it a lot of times as a drum room. Uh, I put it down in a big room, but I always get too much like an aggressive transient and uh, too aggressive cymbals and stuff. Sometimes I put room microphones in an, in an ISO booth with the doors closed, so I just get the, the sound that comes through. And this time I tried to put a single one of those uh, in there um, to see what kind of room sound I could get out of it. And yeah, it can make the whole drum sound. During the recording, uh, the drum kit was out here in the big live room. And then I set up the periscope microphone in the ISO booth across the room. Uh, that ISO booth can be very reverberant uh, if you take everything out and you have tile floor and glass walls. So it's more reverberant than the big room. And you also get the diffusion from closing the doors and also an extended feel of room since you get a distance from the drums to the actual microphone. This is the project from the drum recording. It's with a band called Crimson. I chose this just simple drum part here to show you what the periscope microphone does. Uh, I muted it here now, but we're gonna listen to just a plain drum recording uh, without any processing, I think. So that is what the drum sounds like, uh, just the overheads and the close mics. Uh, we can listen to the periscope microphone. As you can hear, it sounds very distant, uh, thanks to the closed glass wall. That lets some sound through, but it, it's not as direct as it would have been if the microphone was in the actual room. So let's take that down and we'll listen to. Yeah, so you can hear it makes makes a snare almost sound like gunshots. Um, I can go through and do just some quick processing to the drums and see what it would sound like when the drums are more like a finished drum mix. So here I have an inside microphone for the kick. a sub kick that lets through a lot of mids so we put a low pass on that and then we go with an IQ comp from Hofa I have a preset for kick drums that boosts a little low Compress snare. Uh, take out, just take out a little ring. comp on the full drum.
And this of course brings out a lot more of the room mic, so we can take that down a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Just a plain drum sound with just uh, overheads and closed mics. Sounds pretty flat and boring. Uh, and room mics is what really brings out the drums and makes it represent what the drum sounds like in that room. Um, so I really love recording drums in this studio. It kind of made me evolve a style where I like a lot of room in the drums. And sometimes I just have to stop myself because it's not always suitable for all music. But I think it sounds cool. So let's go back and just listen quickly to what it sounded like without the processing. Just turn it all back on. Take out some lows in the overhead to make it a bit more clear. So it's pretty simple to get a great drum mix pretty roughly and quickly like this. Of course, I would go in and do more detailed work uh, when I'm finishing up the mix, but this is usually how I just start to get a rough image of where I want to go and then after that I kind of shape the rest of it together with the rest of the music. So what is your favorite techniques for getting like really big drums? Let me know in the comments. I mean you can use reverb samples and all kind of stuff or do you have a really cool room where you like to record the drums? Let us know. If you made it this far in the video and you're not a subscriber yet please do it. And also thumbs up, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. I hope it's not too much to ask, but these things would really help me out uh, to grow the channel. Uh, and if you like it, I guess you would like to help me. Thanks again for watching. See you again in the next one. Bye-bye. Cheers.